Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Wednesday, January 12th, 2022. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. You'll see right here a big reversal and bounce off uh, the strong low here. Again, we mentioned that this higher low isn't as strong as perhaps the NQ's low, but uh, it could be serviceable enough to get at least a one day move, which we got yesterday and perhaps a follow through uh, throughout the week back toward the previous year's close price. Uh, perhaps even as high as the previous year's highs up here, 48.15 we mentioned yesterday market uh, in the pre-market video. So that's in the best case scenario here to continue to flow higher. Uh, obviously back toward the previous uh, high there, the breakout point, we could drop as deep as that and still be a buying opportunity for a continuation up. Uh, if today's going to be a high range day, we're looking for somewhere in the vicinity of 70 plus points, and that's double what we're seeing right now. Uh, we have 35 and a half points of range. We would see double that range to the upside. So uh, again, we have the potential to see more upside toward that 47.55, 47.60 zone, um, but any failure to hold above the previous session's high, especially a failure to hold above the previous session's midpoint, would be significant and would start to look like rejection. Something like this, for example. Following a strong day, you have a rejection at the previous high and start to work back toward the midpoint. That rejection led to more weakness over the following days. If something like that were to develop, it, were to, it will be right here near this key range high. Um, and again, for example, if there's some sort of tail that develops here today and we get a signal here, that might be indicative of another round of weakness to come. As we continue to trade within this trading range, so we're within range, we've gone down within the range once, we're coming back up within the range, we may see the bath water go to the other side of the tub yet again. So right now, flowing to the upside at the moment, keep an eye on the previous sessions high for early signs of failure. Uh, if we take a look here at the NQ, also a very, very good move. Nice bounce and continuation off the pivot low here. This is in line with what we mentioned to begin the year uh, for our first monthly market outlook. We mentioned any drop into the 15K to 15.2 zone might provide enough of a stretch where it could provide a good bounce and a rotation back toward the center of the range, you know, 16 k 16100 and perhaps even to new highs beyond 168 and 17k so we mentioned at most here 15k to 17k perhaps it's a 152 to 168 type of move instead whatever the case is we may see this thing continue to float to the upside now again like the ES if we're going to see this thing turn into a lower high and fail uh the early level to watch will be the previous session's high price. Previous session's high is going to be the one to watch. You want to close above that level here today. Uh, you certainly want to stay above the previous session's midpoint and uh, overall still flowing to the upside but uh, by the end of the day where is this market? If, if we're showing some kind of rejection of this magnitude here then that could be significant and would lead to more potential weakness ahead. So just keep that in mind right now. We are still flowing to the upside with a shot to see 16K and beyond, uh, but keep an eye on the previous session's high. Taking a look now at crude oil. This one's up right now about 1% already. This one's been very, very strong. Uh, two signals here so far to begin the year, both modified Pima crossover signals. Uh, both are very, very bullish trending signals, only fire in a well-developed trend. And uh, these are continuing to push the way higher here. One thing we talked about is 76 as a market structure level from both the short term perspective, if we're just talking about the previous quarter, and also a long term perspective if we're looking at the 20 year weekly chart. And to push this far beyond 76 to 82s now, uh, again, suggests that we are en route to the top of the previous market structure of 86 and even a pullback as deep as 76 could still provide an opportunity to push this thing up so the expectation now is for a continuation toward 86 overall and any pullbacks 
uh, could continue to be buying opportunities until proven otherwise. Taking a look here at Bitcoin, this one's up 2.6% right now. A pretty good bounce off the 40K level. Not bad at all. One of the things we mentioned uh, is that if it drops into 40 here, 40 could provide a bounce uh, of about 12 to 13,000. If we come back to these highs, that's uh, 52,500. So that'd be 12,500 uh, off of that 40K level. Uh, we're still in this downtrend, though. This is going to be interesting. You can see we're still in this downtrend. You can see the, the bearish Pima trigger zone is still intact. The last time price got into the bearish Pima trigger zone these days, it still dropped. Over here, it pushed into it and dropped. Uh, and we're now starting to push into it at this moment. The bearish Pima trigger zone is between the 8 period average and the 21. And in a stacked and sloped down trending market like this, anytime you rally into the zone if you find some weakness there could be another rotation down so uh, again good bounce off a good market structure level it could take us as high as 52.5 but you gotta watch out for this 45 K level and this zone in general right here as uh, we may begin to see another round of selling pressure which would suggest the downtrend remains intact uh, taking a look lastly at ether futures here this one's had a tremendous response already off the 3,000 level. This one got as low as 29.18. We have a support zone at 27.50 here as a key market structure area. Uh, we mentioned before it could be anywhere from 2,800 down to 2,700. And it got shy of that area, 29.18. Like Bitcoin, this one still remains in a downtrend and you can see predominantly sell signals firing here these smaller ones here again are trend based trend confirmed signals so if we come into this zone saying to 3500 are we going to see another round of selling that takes us into that 2700 level proper for a bounce uh, do we fail at 2700 and drop back towards 1750 how's that going to play out that would be a tremendous buy opportunity for a rotation back to 1750 and ultimately 4k and beyond so those are the market structure levels we're dealing with here and we've already gotten a, a pretty significant bounce from the low just a couple of days ago not quite at an edge of market structure but it did take out the previous quarters low and that's all it needed right now to get going this time was very close to the previous quarters low and by the end of the quarter it had stretched tremendously um, are we are we building up to do the same here so this is building up to be a very tremendous rejection here especially in the weekly time frame and uh, that could lead to multiple months of strength ahead so this could be week one of the bottom of uh, a rotation back up again if there's any failure to hold uh, 35 that would be an early indication of rejection all right, that is it for now. We'll see how things play out here heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.